Only Sketches About presents Only Sketches About Butter. Welcome to Regal Cinema's concession stand, sir. Can I get you anything? Uh, yeah, can I just get a large popcorn? Sure thing. And do you want anything on it? Butter and salt are free and we can add an avocado for just two dollars. To the popcorn? No, I don't want that. Okay, and a drink? Just a medium Pepsi. Okay, and do you want to add a fried egg on that? Make it farm style? To the Pepsi? No, I've never heard of that. Okay, just the popcorn and the drink then. That comes with a super salad and two sides. I just want the popcorn and the drink. Okay, just the popcorn and the drink. And do you want the warranty on that? It covers damage, scratches, anything in that realm, but it does not cover theft. No, I don't need a warranty on my popcorn. Okay, and would you like to sign up for our rewards card? It allows you to buy and purchase things in a blue No, 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 no. No avocado, no fried egg, no warranty, and no rewards card. I just want a popcorn and a soda. That's it. That's all this transaction needed to be. Well, sure, that'll be twenty six seventy four. Woof, next time I'm bringing snacks from home. Ready for your first pitch meeting? I'm actually pretty nervous. Skippy Peanut Butter is a legendary company. I hope my ideas are innovative enough. Well, I'll let you in on a secret. If you want to make a really good impression on the boss, when he calls on you, make a joke. A joke? A really good joke. Oh, okay, okay. got <laughs> okay. it. Okay, team. Welcome to our quarterly pitch meeting. Would anyone like to kick us off with their idea for a new nut butter? Oh, yes, Max. Yeah, you can make a butter with these nuts. <laughs> Which nuts? You know, these nuts. Do you have some nuts in your pocket? No, no, no. I mean, well, I mean, kind of, I do. I, you know, if you get my meaning. You're not making any sense. Yes, I think I get you now. You have a new kind of nut from... What I can only assume is the D's region of Brazil. Uh, well, come on, pull them out and show me. No, no I, don't, I don't think there's a D's region of Brazil, sir. No, D's nuts is just a fun way to say the, the these nuts, which is why I pointed to my pants, you know, because of my testicles. I, I, I'm glad you shared that with me. Max, are you asking me to make a butter with your testicles? No, not <laughs> literally. I just... I'm a vegan. What does being a vegan have to do it with... It means he doesn't eat anything that comes from an animal. Spoiler, Max, humans are animals. There's no cannibal loophole. Believe me, I've checked. Oh, man, I wasn't being serious. It was just a joke. Well, well, I am not laughing, Maxwell, and I have an excellent sense of humor. You have to in order to make it in this the nut business. Mm. Explain the joke again to Mr. Skippy. Oh, yes, please. The explanation will make it a lot funnier. Um, <sighs> it's just a dumb pun. You know, because we're a peanut butter corporation and a peanut is a nut mm -hmm. and nuts is a synonym for testicles. Mm -hmm. Since when? I'm, I'm all over TikTok these days and I've never heard of this. His son is TikTok famous. What can I say? I, I'm a proud dad. I, I, I don't know, like 30 years maybe? I, I would argue more. Impossible! Mr. Skippy, I assure you, it is possible. How? How? How is this insanity allowed on this good blue marble? This, this, this turn of phrase masquerading as a synonym rather than the baseless folly that it is. How can these shenanigans be allowed to run untethered to reason? A wee few good men watch in horror, powerless to crack even a smile or an innocent chuckle. How? 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 Tell me how. Um, because of these nuts? That's fucking hilarious. Welcome back to B 
BBC Royal Classics. Today, we have a very exciting episode. Through an anonymous source, we have obtained a recording of a never-before-heard conversation between Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana. I have not yet heard this recording myself, but I am told it is very interesting indeed. With the utmost respect for the pair's privacy, let's listen to the whole thing. Charles! Charles, where have you been? Talk to me! Leave me alone, woman! You were with her again, weren't you? With Camilla? What is it about her that's so much better than your wife? The mother of your sons? I don't want to speak of Camilla with you. No, do tell me. Tell me what it is Camilla does during sex that's Uh. so bloody fantastic. It certainly doesn't have to do with penetration because God knows that doesn't turn you on in the slightest. You wouldn't understand. Try me! Try me! She... She... She what? She rubs butter on me. Excuse me? Camilla, she rubs butter on me. On my chest and my nipples. She rubs butter on your nipples? She just gets me, you know. No one else has ever seen inside my soul like she has. You've been cheating on me. Because that old cougar rubs you down like a raw turkey. And sometimes... Sometimes she'll... Pour some better on me and make a little pancake or something. God, it's so sexy. Oh, Christ. That's why all our sheets are so sticky and smell like the cinema. Oh, God, this is really... You know, Diana, now that I think about it, the problem with us is we've never really sat down and talked about our kinks. If you just tried a bit harder, like Camilla does, I mean... I think I could actually consider loving you if you took out the tub of Irish Kerrygold once in a while and went to town on my naked abdomen. No wonder the IRA hates us, you sick fuck! Your father's going to hear about this from me. Oh, go ahead and tell him. He does it too. What? The entire family's into butter in the bad way. You mean Ethan? Yes, even the corgis. That's not what I... Ugh! I can't handle this madness anymore. I'm leaving you tonight. No, now you know too much. You can never leave us. Watch me! If you walk out that door, there will be dire consequences. Oh, okay. If you get into that car... I'm leaving all the money to Harry. Fine. But the butter goes to William. He'll know what it's for. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the true salacious reason for Charles and Diana's official split and, it seems, evidence for a whole new conspiracy. I must say, it is not what I expected, but it is what I deserved. Cheerio! My fellow colleagues, we have been trying to enter the crypto market for quite some time now. And today, I present to you an idea I have been working on for a new cryptocurrency fit to compete with the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and yes, even Dogecoin. It's called Burcoin. Excellent, Tate. Walk us through this concept. Certainly. Now, the central feature of Burcoin is its unique and egalitarian mining process. Mining blockchain cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin, requires a significant amount of time, resources, and programming skills, which excludes the average Joe from using the currency. But with Burcoin, anyone in the world can participate in the mining process, as long as they have access to a cow. Wait, a, a cow? Oh, I see Matt's getting excited. Yes, a cow. Burcoin's patented mining process called Burr Splunking is really quite simple. All a person needs to do is approach a female dairy cow that recently gave birth to a calf. Underneath the cow, they will find four pink stalactites. Squeeze them, and they will produce an opaque liquid. The liquid must be heated to 161 degrees Fahrenheit and immediately cooled and placed in a jar, then shaken until solid globules begin to form. Once this happens, strain them using a thin cloth, and voila, you have yourself one unit of burr coin. I'll open the room to question. Incredible. You have really outdone yourself this time, Tate. This is the future of crypto. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you serious right now? He literally just described the process of making butter. That's not crypto. It's butter. Uh, it. I know that crypto can be hard to understand, and there were a lot of confusing vocabulary words in Tate's presentation. But 
He is the expert on the topic. Butter isn't money. I'm sorry. If you guys are using butter as money, that's just the barter system. It's the Middle Ages. It's Burcoin, Matt, not butter. Money is simply a medium of exchange backed by a valued resource. Only a crazy asshole would say Burcoin is a crypto. <laughs> Matt, maybe you need to go back to kindergarten and take Econ 101 again. <laughs> 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 okay, well, what about inflation? If anyone could just get a cow and make burr coin, or easier yet, steal some counterfeit burr coin from the grocery store, then it's basically valueless. Wow, Matt, um, do you steal from grocery stores often? Because I'll take you to the food court. I don't want to go to the food court with you, Shelly. Look, don't you guys see what's going on here? You're expecting society to accept something you spread on toast as a revolutionary new currency, all because this guy used a bunch of flowery language and said stalactities instead of udders. Stalactities holds more ingenuity in four syllables than you do in your entire body, Matthew. I knew hiring my sister's kid was a mistake. Now, if you don't stop this nonsense and respect your co-worker, I'll fire you on the spot. We don't have an HR department. Fine, fire me. The stock options will be useless after this anyway. You're fired! Oh, suck it, Aunt Pauline. You're my mom's worst twin. <gasps> Ugh. So, Tate, when are we going to pitch this one to Elon? Already did. Ugh, you! Breaking news. Elon Musk has just renounced all of his previously preferred cryptocurrencies in favor of a new contender called Burcoin. One of our economic analysts here at CNN insisted that the so-called currency is simply butter, but he was just fired for being an idiot. When asked to comment, Mr. Musk said, I'll stake my entire reputation on the fruit of those stalactities. Not even the mother of my child could produce a commodity so pure. More on this after the break. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? I wanted to swallow, but I just couldn't. You know I don't eat animal products, not even human ones. Oh my God, same. Girl, I wish there was a better way. Well, now there is. Introducing Better Brand Boy Butter, vegan semen replacement for the plant-based bedroom butter lover in your life from the makers of Mrs. Butterworth's. Wow, vegan semen replacement? How does it work? Legally, I'm not allowed to say. Let's listen to some testimonials. Better Brand Boy Butter busted my boorish beliefs about being green. Now I'm eating healthy and saving the planet, one slurp at a time. And now, my children are without a father. Better brought a much needed spark back into my spunk. Now splooge is my specialty and I've got it in spades, without animal harm. Jackfruit? None for me, just jizz. Don't worry, it's plant-based. Whether you're trying to spice up your sex life or just take your fettuccine Alfredo to the next level, better will get you pregnant. Uh huh. Wait, 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 no, no, no. I, wait, how? I, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this really sounds great. Truly, probably gonna buy it. But how does it do that? And it's available in salted, unsalted, and pineapple. Mmm. You are what you eat. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but like, is it like a spread? Like, do you take it as a pill? I mean, is this even safe? Buy it and find out! Better Brand Boy Butter, the vegan seed you need. Available in the deli aisle. Thanks for hosting us all for dinner, Liza. Of course! Oh gosh, please, eat up. There is so much food here. Could someone pass the butter, please? Uh, yep, here you go. Oh, uh, is that salted or unsalted butter? Uh, salted, I think. Yeah. Oh, the same kind Mary Magdalene used on Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, Carl? You know, a few days before Jesus was crucified, Mary anointed his feet with melted butter. 
think you're thinking of the oils that they used on Jesus's feet. Oh, when... sweet Kate, common misconception, what? but don't beat yourself up about it. Most people believe that it was some special oil, but it was actually melted butter. You know, like how people think it was a white dove that sent an olive branch to Noah, but it was actually just a pigeon. Carl, you always mansplain like this. You just cut me off. Hey, Kate. I'm listening to you, and I hear you completely, but I'm allowed to share my opinion too. For the record, I also doubt that the butter thing is true. Oh, okay, Liza. That's, yeah, f cool. Um, you're wrong, but uh, whatever. Look, guys, this is a dinner party. Let's let's not talk about religion, yes. please. Yes, agree. Okay, okay. Agreed. absolutely. <laughs> right, okay, cool. Um, so... Recently, Kate and I. So, 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 so sorry, Jim. Hey, listen, I have a random question. Um, everyone here, this is gonna be fun. Everyone here, raise your hand if you've been on birthright. Oh, no one, just me? Where are you going with this, Carl? I just think it's interesting that I'm the only one who's actually been to Jerusalem, but you guys are trying to tell me that I'm wrong for saying Mary Magdalene put butter all over Jesus's piggies, uh, which she did. Do not call Jesus's feet piggies. That's so offensive to me. Why in the world would she rub butter on his feet? Is, is this some sort of weird fetishization of Mary Magdalene for being falsely portrayed as a prostitute? Hey, 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 I would never fetishize a woman. I, I mean, I'm the only one here who actually made majored in women's studies. Oh yeah, can you take off your pussy hat, Carl? We're at the dinner table right now. Yeah. Uh, so I just think I know a bit more than you do about Mary Magdalene. In fact, I took a whole class on Mary's at Wesleyan. Oh Mary Tyler God. Moore, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Mary Poppins. Carl, you're mansplaining again. Oh my God, et tu, Brutus? What? Do you guys just want me to leave? I feel like you guys don't want me here. No, Carl, no. no, no of course no, we want we you want here. You. Please. We're I trying to have a good dinner forever. here. Come on. Hey, why don't we just get past this topic and have a nice time together? Fine. My Tesla's still charging anyways. Uh, so what I was saying before is that Kate and I went to that new movie theater mm, yeah. downtown, and they asked if we wanted avocado on our popcorn. No, that's so <laughs> yeah, weird. Right? Popcorn. Interesting etymology there. Uh, wh what do you mean, Carl? Oh, you know, forget it. Just forget it. No. Carl, tell us. Okay, well, since you asked, popcorn actually derives from the Hebrew word for feet, which refers to a line of the scriptures about Jesus' buttered feet walking through everything oh we God. know. And Mary Magdalene's favorite food no, no, was that's corn. that's it. Time for you to go. Oh, come on. Hasn't anyone ever read Dan Brown? No. Get out! It's infinite jest or bust in this house! Oh, fine. No. We're all only here for your nice-ass house anyway. <gasps> Is that true? Are you guys only here for my nice ass house with my big ass pool and my beautiful ass basement? Yeah. 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 Hundred yeah. percent. That's precisely it. Me too. Me too. All right, sir. And here's your pancakes. Thank you. And your waffles. Thank you. And butter and jelly is on the table in that four-section spreadable condiment holder. Wow. I guess since I'm a pack of butter, I'm going to be going on those waffles. Nah, I wouldn't be so sure. Oh, you don't think so, grape jelly? Nah, like pancakes, sure. Gotta put butter on those. But waffles, eh, not necessarily. I, I feel like butter typically goes on waffles. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's strawberry jelly, back me up here. No, no, butter has a point. I think that putting butter on waffles is pretty standard. Goes on most breakfast things. No, because you wouldn't put butter on oatmeal, right? Like, like if I had a hot bowl of oatmeal, I... Um, actually, if it's served hot, it's a porridge, not an oatmeal. Oh, this guy. Uh... Dude, shut the fuck up, orange marmalade. Orange marmalade? Nobody likes you. And you're contributing nothing to the conversation by correcting grape jelly. Actually, since he has crushed fruit chunks, he's technically a jam. Dude, I'm gonna jam my fucking fist down your throat if you don't shut up. Dude, fucking nice. Oh, butter. Is that any type of plastic for your container? 
Yeah, it's a little more durable. It's cool. Ah, I gotta get a new one myself. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. I think it makes me maybe the best-looking condiment at the table. Butter isn't a condiment. It's a spread. Dude, I'm whatever I fucking say I am. Wait, orange marmalade? That's not even true. You're wrong on this one. Butter is a condiment. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look, I googled the definition of condiments. Condiment is a word that describes a sauce or seasoning added to food. Common condiments include salt, pepper, butter, and ketchup. I don't trust your source. What do you mean you don't trust that source? It's Google. I don't trust Google. What do you mean you don't trust Google? It's Google. Check Bing. Dude, I am not fucking checking Bing. Yeah, plus the Wi-Fi in this diner sucks. Yeah, it's slow and it's always disconnecting me. Yeah, you'd think with how much cash comes in, the owners would be able to afford better. The owner's taking a lot of cash, huh? <gasps> yes, Orange Marmalade. It's a diner. It's a lot of cash and they probably don't even declare it. That's how most diners stay afloat. <laughs> Done. Done? What's done? I reported this diner to the IRS. What? Why would you do <laughs> we that? We live here. We live in this diner. Why does that excite you? <laughs> They're gonna get audited to shit. God, you are so annoying. Why are you like this? You're awful. You know what? You. Fuck you. Nobody likes you. What? You know what? what? I said, can I have some home fries? I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the condiments arguing. Why is I can't believe it's not butter. Holiday commercial, take one. One. Marker. And uh, action. Mmm, this is such a tasty toast spread, dear. I can't believe it's not butter. Really? You can't believe it's not butter. Um, um, Mr. Scorchesi, I think he's supposed to say that in a lighter tone. No, I like it. It's a fresher like a mozzarella. Keep rolling. Um, what do you mean, dear? I mean, really? You can't fathom the possibility that what you just put on your toast isn't butter. Vegetable oil. Ever heard of it? Ted, is everything okay? No, Jocelyn. Everything is most certainly not okay. Because we've become a generation of sheep who will willfully not believe anything just because it's written on a plastic tub. Maybe that's right, Ted, but we're all here to shoot a commercial. Forget about them, Jocelyn. I want you to sit me down. Explain it to me like I'm stupid, why you can believe in a bearded Christian God, but not that this obvious margarine substitute is not in fact butter. Okay, first of all, I'm Whoa, Jewish. Calm down. Second of all, I have quietly yes handed you while you've wasted this entire cruise time with your whatever this is. Do you know why I said yes to this SAG after a low budget commercial when I'm an upcoming star in a CW show? Jocelyn, you're making me forget what I was trying to say. Because I believe in the product. I believe in a lower fat alternative to my breakfast treats, and I believe in a plant-based, lightly salted, delicious substitute that can even be used in baking. Uh, I... Uh, and, and do you know what else? When I take my toast out of the toaster and I spread all its golden, creamy goodness across all the nooks and crannies, when I close my eyes and take a bite and the world stops turning just for a second, you know what happens then? Do you? Hey, hey, we're really off script now. Uh, director? Do you? Do you know what I think to myself in those precious stolen moments each morning? I think to myself that I can't believe it's not butter! We got this one take. A great job, everybody. Go home. Only Sketches About Butter was written and performed by Gamal El Sawa, Chris Fitzgerald, Cassidy Graham, Lauren Hardman, Annette Storkman, and Gabrielle Willian, with a special appearance by Remy Germanario. Music is by Nicholas R. Nelson. Can't get enough of Only Sketches About? 
Subscribe to listen to season one of Only Sketches About podcast, as well as bonus content, including three full non-season shows. Then tell us how hot we are by leaving a review, and maybe we'll think about doing a season two. I have been your buttery voiced announcer, Mark Stauffenberg, and this has been an OSA Comedy production.